Welcome back. Man, now we can talk basketball. Mark, show us what is happening on the fantasy side of Pinoy Crossover. All right, guys, we got our first week happened, and it was a good fight because we had a lot of teams that are really close. We had, a, if you look through our, our standing and results, we got a lot of 5 4 wins. But shout out to Good Basketball and Bull Supreme with an 8 1 win. Shout out to Vince mm -hmm. and shout out to Dylan, right, for that really good win last week. And how did your team do? I think we won. Yeah. You yeah, had, that was yeah. that was before my name switch. Oh yeah. What was your what was your original name? Patrick's team. <laughs> what was your, Patrick, Patrick, team Senpai. Team Senpai. Team Senpai. Team Senpai. Team Senpai. <laughs> he did better than I did. Yeah. I, I had my a brother. Five. I had a bad week, mm -hmm. but we got second week coming up too soon. So stay tuned for our Pinoy Crafts Our Fantasy League. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else do you have for us other than fantasy? All right, let's move straight to our fun rundown topics. So I want to ask you guys. Like, first question is, uh, what did you see in the first two weeks in the NBA? I want to hear what you guys have seen because maybe we've watched different games or maybe you've, you've seen different things than I did. So what are you? What are you? I'll tell you what I have not seen. Some stars, pl some stars play because of injuries. Obviously Kawhi. Yeah. Kawhi, and then we got see, we saw Chris Paul only play for a couple of minutes, exactly. and then his knee or something like that. Yeah. So a lot of stars aren't playing. Anthony uh, Davis is also out with the ankle, uh, lower body, lower leg injury as well. So mm -hmm. Boogie, Ka Boogie Cousins is going to step up his game, which he did. He dropped, uh, I think, 39. A 39. I have him on my fantasy team I have him on my well. fantasy team. So. <laughs> so, thank God he was uh, <laughs> able to step up. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. Because there, there's rumors of Josh Smith actually getting picked up by the Pelicans. Because he's pl he played overseas, but there's rumors going around that... He is he, playing overseas right now. If actually. he might transition back to the NBA. And mm -hmm. if the Pelicans really, really need uh, Josh Smith. If Anthony Davis is going to be out for a long time. Anthony Davis is on my fantasy team now that you're talking <laughs> oh, about fantasy. So. So going down. Well, I'll tell you what I have keep seen. Keep him, though. Keep him, uh, keep him. What I've ha I have seen is that Philadelphia looks okay. Like They're, they're a fun, they're team, a to fun watch, team to right? watch. We got Embiid and we got Simmons. I'm actually Simmons enjoying. is so fun yeah. to watch. I don't know if you guys... I mean, Embiid, too. Mm -hmm. Two interesting players to watch because they're so unique in their own ways. Yeah. And that it's been a while since you've seen something like that from the Sixers, so... Not only like fun teams as the Sixers, I think that a lot of underrated teams or teams that didn't think they were going to be this good at the start of the season, just like the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets, mm -hmm. Orlando Magic, they, they beat, were fun to watch. They too. beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're like at least top six seed right now, even though that doesn't matter right now. Mm -hmm. Beating the Cleveland Cav Cavaliers early in the season, it does do something about the team that they're playing really, really hard. And you know, it wasn't it wasn't a real blowout. They had some close games. Mm -hmm. uh, the team the teams were like playing really well against the Cleveland Cavaliers, and hopefully they could be getting to the playoffs soon. Orlando Magic looked good. Brooklyn Nets, Indiana too looked good. Like all these three teams that everyone thought they're gonna be garbage. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Why they they were fun to watch, right? How about uh, how about this? Uh, and I watched the Memphis and the. This was fun to watch until the Golden State were getting blown out. How about the fact that when, uh, you know the incident that happened with Curry, where he threw his mouthpiece on the direction of the uh, the referee, mm -hmm. he ended up getting only a fifty fifty thousand uh, fine, mm -hmm. but no suspension. What do you think about this? Why did, did you say only fifty thousand? Is there oh, because he's loaded? <laughs> only fifty thousand. It's like nothing compared to what he's making. What he signed a two hundred million dollar contract. So, I mean, what I think is that they look at his contract, how much he's making, which he's making a lot of money right now. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you're not supposed to really disrespect your, uh, the official like that, throwing your um, mouthpiece. It wasn't that's on, just, it was in the direction of uh, the referee, but I know he didn't. Towards to, him. Yeah. It was towards oh, him. And it was it was like him um, telling the ref like, yo, call call the, call the foul. You, ha you guys haven't been calling the fouls lately. And he got really, really mad. And we haven't seen that since um, the playoffs, playoffs against Cleveland in 2016, mm -hmm. um, and that's and then Kevin Durant also went out uh, with Stephen Curry. They both got ejected that game, <laughs> and then Kevin Durant was actually like um, telling telling a fan to remember, I have a I have a ring. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, I remember. Don't I don't, don't that forget. Yeah. I don't, that wasn't. I don't think that was the middle finger showing to a fan. I don't think Kevin Durant's like that. Yeah. But it was showing a, a ring finger. It's like yeah. I'm a championship ring. Uh, it doesn't matter. This loss doesn't matter. We'll be in the playoffs. We'll win. We'll go back to back once again. My thing is with you guys is that do you find that there's a big issue here? Like, because if let's say you know a lot of the incidents that have happened with like Draymond Green kicking or like you know if people are saying if the Marcus Cousins did the same thing he would have done he would have gotten worse he would have gotten like you know a much uh, harsh suspension or a much harsh 
punishment. So do you guys have an issue with the NBA kind of treating Curry this way? Or, or do you think it was legitimate or, you know, it's fair that what he got is only a, uh, a fine with, don't, with no suspension? I mean, there's two ways of looking at it. Stephen Curry is a talented player. He's like one of the most looked at from kids as a That's player. Yeah. Uh, Boogie Cousins, not saying Boogie Cousins isn't uh, looked up to by the kids, but Boogie Cousins has a history of getting a lot of technicals, getting ejected in games. But Steph- this is his second time, if you think about exactly. it. Exactly. So that's why it, he, he's not really getting too much of a toll onto like getting fined a lot or getting even suspended. Uh, it's just it's just throwing. St- I mean, throwing stuff at referees are, is actually pretty bad, especially your mouthpiece. That's kind of that's kind of disgusting. That, 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 that's kind of disgusting. Yeah. But I mean, I, there's no other way of paying him or like a suspend. Uh, suspend. You can't suspend him. Uh, I think that's 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 going hey, too far. This has happened before. If you think about uh, with Udonis Haslam, and this he was suspended a playoff game for his mouthpiece. Right. Did he so throw it as well? He oh. threw it as well, and it hit the referee. So it's it's. It's something that you know a lot of people and a lot of you know writers, a lot of analysts are like looking at this as like how are they, why are they treating him differently than any other thing? Do you feel like he deserve, he has earned the right to, you know, hey, I don't, you know, he's been clean his own life. He he basically played basketball professionally and in a you know professional manner and in a way that you know a lot of players will look up to or a lot of kids look up to. So that's why he didn't they didn't think it was kind of you know. They didn't. He didn't really deserve a suspension, in a sense. So right? what's 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 your take on that? Do, would you see? Would you rather see him as sus- suspended or? Well, my take is like a lot of a lot of people are having very you know mixed opinions about how he, Curry's being treated in the NBA. They thinking that that's why a lot of players. If you guys look, a lot of players in the NBA don't like Curry just because of the fact that he gets treated in a different. Like if you watch him play. If it's LeBron that does that kind of things that he does, like he celebrates in a certain way, you know, when he hits a three and he knows he's going in, he's going back and like he has a cocky way. It not it can come off as arrogant if you if people come up in a certain way. But for me, because he's just, you know he's just so fun to watch. He's one of my favorite players. I don't think of anything like that. But if someone else, you know, other players, players in the NBA think he's very arrogant in the way he plays. So. When he, you know, when something like this happens and then the NBA treats him like, you know, oh, it's just something little, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to be harsh on you. A lot of players in the NBA don't take that, you know, hey, your baby being someone who's, you know, who should be treated the same way as a Cousins or a Draymond. Mm-hmm. So that's my take and I want to see how you guys take, uh, how you guys see it. Because for me... So, hey, you, so for you, you think it's not uh, yeah. for the 50000 and you... You I feel like that they should have. They, a lot of a lot of people yeah. see it that way, and I wanted to see your opinion because for me, I feel like he's earned the right to not get that suspension because he he basically had played the NBA, uh, you know, played his career in a way that you know you would want a player to you know play because he was humble when he well, started. Yeah, like pr- promoted as like yeah. he's a perfect superstar, yeah. not yeah. getting ejected until like. He's hum- he starts throwing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, that's referees. something that he just started doing because just before, before this, just yeah, before this he was never like this. He, before this he yeah, was humble, I know. like he was never like you know he grew up with a great family, a gr- uh, a good dad and a great mom and a great family too with like Riley and and his his wife. Yeah. So he's a model basketball player that everyone you know not just kids but NBA players should look up to and like have a career like that right it's a, it's a good debate I so mean, it's, it can go either side either you side say he yeah he definitely deserves a 50,000 50, uh, fine hmm. but then again like why would he get suspended because he, he he's just throwing um, mouthpieces but then again Hassan Whiteside yeah. like hasn't hasn't really got ejected that much hasn't been playing yeah. in the league long and he just got suspended after throwing one at uh, one time a mouthpiece at a referee so exactly. there's both sides to it it's a good debate though yeah. And let's finish it off. Who has been the most impressive player that you've watched? I mean, there's a lot of players that have played so well. Mm-hmm. Harden, Davis, he played before he went down. Mm-hmm. Curry, he's been playing really well. Durant, Blake, Giannis. Who's been the most impressive player that you watch? Standing out is Giannis. Giannis Antetokounmpo is like one of we'll the... We'll say that. What's his last name again? Antetokounmpo. <laughs> The alphabet, yeah. <laughs> the Greek freak. Yeah. Antetokounmpo. He's <laughs> currently leading the leading the league in scoring. Uh, how about you, PJ? Ad- oh, I'm Giannis. I have the, the stats right here. I have you guys the paper, right? Oh, uh, he's yeah. averaging near like 36 points per game, 10 rebounds a game, and five assists, and he's shooting at least 65.9% from the field. He could be easily 
people are saying he is the MVP right now, mm -hmm. and I do agree he will be MVP by the end of the season. Uh, mark my words. Guess who predicted that? Mark, mark my words. Mark his words.